Sobel and Van Gogh are as diametrically opposite as they come. Sobel was born into a wealthy and influential family. His father was the industrialist Enrique Sobel. Van Gogh's father, on the other hand, was an austere minister, and like him, his family struggled financially. Sobel would graduate from Harvard University, while Van Gogh hardly completed secondary school. Sobel would have seen Van Gogh's wheat field with cypresses in the famous Metropolitan Museum of New York while he was in Harvard. Wheat Fields with Cypresses is one of three in a series that Van Gogh painted in 1889. Of the time when Sobel would have painted his version of this famous work, Harvard Magazine would write in 2009 that he had returned to Manila from Spain the day after Pearl Harbor. He would spend most of 1942 in a hospital bed, tormented by a neck and spinal injury he suffered since childhood. In 1943, his father, the industrialist, would die of an untreated infection. Sobel would cope by studying and reading intensely. In 1945, after liberation, an American family friend would urge him to apply to Harvard. Sobel would wind up in Cambridge by 1946 and he would do so well that he would graduate magna cum laude in just three years. This painting dates from this glorious period of his life. Fernando Sobel would write the mother of a close personal friend, Mrs. L. L. Rock. As you know, it is the first oil painting I ever did, and it is a copy of Van Gogh. Sobel continued, and I did it while Bob and I were rooming at Harvard. Thus, the undulating skies and glorious yellow fields would symbolize a young man's innocence and idealism, completely different things from what Van Gogh had intended.